Okay, so <coughs> talking about pesticides that we're using, wiping out 75% um, of insect species in a combination with all of the other stressors. Sorry, I have a bit of a cold, so my voice is a bit off. And also I've been doing talking a lot in my videos tonight. So this paper in Nature Plants, March 2017, period paper, says that we can achieve sustainable crop production while feeding an increasing world population um, without using pesticides. Reducing pesticide use is one of the critical drivers to preserve the environment and human health. Pesticide use could be reduced through the adoption of new production strategies. Okay, however, substantial reductions of pesticide use are possible without impacting crop productivity and profitability. Okay, it says that's debatable. They've demonstrated here in this paper, low pesticide use rarely decreases productivity and profitability in arable farms. They analyzed 946 non-organic arable commercial farms showing different levels of pesticide use and covering a wide range of production situations in France. They couldn't find any, there was no conflict between low pesticide use and high productivity or high profitability in over three quarters of the farms. They estimated that total pesticide use could be reduced by 42% with no negative effect on productivity and profitability in 57% of the farms. <coughs> okay, generally we think of the hazards as being people that are directly exposed to the pesticides. Um, we would think less of the environmental disruptions and the effects on insects and animals. Um, France is the sixth biggest European consumer of pesticides per unit of agricultural in area. Um, in 2013, 7% of the population had been supplied at least once with drinking water that was over the maximum authorized pesticide concentration. So they, it gets into the groundwater, you know, it has to go somewhere, it doesn't just disappear. Okay, so there's some studies, uh, marginal effects on crop productivity. There's a lot of statistical analysis here looking at different types of um, looking at um, the amount of pesticides in different crops, the change in the yields of different crops, using pesticides to using no pesticides, um, different crops at different times of the year, and things like that. So I don't want to go too much into the details here, apart to say that this study and other studies show that, you know, the idea of pesticide usage is just not... Um, you know, it's way overdone. I mean, it's, we've, been, we've been sold a bill of goods um, in, in by pesticide companies, you know, who lobby the government, convince the government that they, they've got a safe product and that you have to have these pesticides in order to get high yields and they've been used for years and now it's, and, you know, it's wiping out insects. So there you go. Uh, it's, it's destroying the food chain. So this is uh this talks about the insect pollinated crops how long term yields um, are declining because of the uh, the these neo nicotinoid uses and this is a chemical that is believed to just you know just take out bees basically so if you have less pollinators then the yields go down so lo and behold they found that as you um, you know, as you go from years, the yields peaked, and then as pesticide use got heavier and heavier, the yield dropped because the, there were far less pollinators. That was the result of that study. Um, this is a very interesting article in Science toward pesticide vigilance. Okay, so we have to we have to be vigilant about the pesticides that we use. We have to se severely curtail usage, and we have to have proper studies done on all these pesticides at the same level that we examine pharmaceuticals and drugs that humans ingest. Okay, 500 active substances are used in pesticides are approved, including insecticides, fungicides, herbicides, and plant growth regulators. Is it any surprise that we've taken out 
uh, a lot of the insects. What's not mentioned in the insect <coughs> study, you know, and I'd love to see some studies is we need to look at how, how, this, how is this affecting the microbes in the soils? You know, all of this stuff. Like the microbes, the prokaryotes in the soil, you know, they're cells with no nucleus, um, like bacteria and stuff, the decomposers, they decompose organic matter. Um, and it's thought that their biomass is about equal to that of trees, right? Half the biomass of the planet. Um, are these things being taken out by pesticides? What about by antibacterial hand creams and things? Shouldn't those be banned? You know, we really need to... Look, if we're going to stay on this planet, we got we to gotta do things. We got we to gotta do things uh, properly. And <clears throat> I despair. You know, I thought social media was going to be great, getting information out across to people. And it could do that if the companies, the Facebook and Twitters and stuff, if they get rid of all of this fake stuff and we get rid of, you know, we, we have to have higher standards of information. Um, you know, right you now, Facebook, you know, I'll do a separate video on this. It's basically taking out democracy. You know, ironically, it's people left of center that develop all of these different tools and then people right of center utilize them to just spread so much false information that who knows, you know, people don't know which way is up and which way is down now. Um, and there's no democracy. Elections are won by, you know, people spending small amounts of money by a whole town uh, creating bots and attacking a particular issue. You know, this is seen happening over and over and that's a, that's a different topic. So, you know, we've got so many problems. It's like we're going down, you know, we're gonna have to have these, you know, we are, we are starting to go down. I mean, how can the US can't even afford to fix Puerto Rico? You know, they, you know I think that, I think Trump should get rid of the, of, of the, uh, the, the Internal Revenue Service, right? The Internal Revenue Service, you know, we don't need that anymore. Just write your tax checks Right, you know, when you give your money to the government for taxes, just send it directly to the military. You know, and the military can take uh, 10% or whatever and use it for roads and, you know, other public services and use the, keep the rest. It's a much more efficient tax system because that's where all the money is going, right? And this is why countries and civilizations collapse. All the, you know, it's like, a, it's like an old Russian fable, you know, <laughs> like, like, you know, get rid of the IRS. That would save lots of money. Just send it all to the military, your tax dollars. That's the way we're going. Who needs uh, money for education anyway? Who needs money for all of these other things? So anyway, um, rambling off. So this is a great article. Talks about how, you know, we need to change the governance. We need to, you know, talks about pharmaceuticals, how they go through trials, etc. We need to do similar things with pesticides, we need to really cut back on pesticides and go to permaculture and things like that. And it gives examples and things. I mean, these, you know, it, these, these are taking us out. Okay, so um, we're getting close to the end. So um, this was the original article, right? Remember? Okay. Um, what did, did we finish this, this article? Yes, we did. Things that we need to do, global treaty to regulate pesticides and, and so on. I've talked about this sort of stuff already. Okay. Livestock farming, you know, I got to talk about that a little bit. Okay. Um, one of the things that has promised is artificial meat. Okay, China signed a 300 million deal to buy lab grown meat. So if we can, we could, if we can grow meat in the lab, right, that tastes half decent, then people, we don't need uh, livestock farming. We can use all of the land to produce grains and plants to feed the world. And we can use labs to produce meat at higher prices to <coughs> satisfy people that eat meat. Right? So this is an interesting thing. You know, right now, um, twice as much of the world's surface is used for grazing it as it is for growing crops. Yet animals feed entirely on pasture produce. Just one gram out of the 81 grams of protein consumed per person per day. 
Okay, um, replacing meat with soy, reduces land area, and so on. I don't need to go into all the details of this. It's just that, you know, we could go a long way to addressing food waste and climate and all of these stresses on our ecosystem by, if we, by replacing meat and eating more grains. All becoming vegans or, you know, eating meat that is produced in company, by, by in, in factories, um, if we make artificial meat. It's an interesting idea. Um, so here's a question, can Britain feed itself? This is an old article, um, 2007 to 2008. Very good article. Uh, talking about the breakdown of different products, how much consumption is, the nutrients in different foods, and what we need, and what chemicals were being used, and, and so on, and yields, and stuff like that. Um, the, right? It's, it's just an excellent article, you know, and it really goes to show that of all of the land that is being used in Britain to feed the feed people, you could if, if people were eating just grains, you could use a fraction of that land space and you could use the other land space to sequester carbon. Okay, so we've basically talked a lot, you know, I hope you've stuck with me with all of these videos. This is a, this is a vital talk, topic. So the gist is, this is a horrifying study, but it's not un unexpected. It's not unexpected for anybody that has been driving a car in rural areas for years and basically had their car completely smothered with squished bugs um, on the windshield, on the windscreen, on the car, in the air filters. Um, and now <coughs> basically has a pristine car after a long drive through rural areas. You know, what's different? What, where did all those animals go? Where did, sorry, where did all those insects go? What happened to them? You know, we, I mean, we, we think that they just disappeared. They vanished. You know, maybe a bunch of them are migrating up to uh, warmer climates, you know, farther northward. I, I wouldn't uh, hold my breath on that. But, you know, we've got to look at all of the factors that are taking them out, and we spend you know, scientists do lots of studies on how to develop better pesticides that are that kill insects more efficiently, more potent ex, uh, pesticides. You know, to 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 get to that that they say are vital to having decent eels that are large enough to feed our growing population. Meanwhile, studies are coming out saying that uh, you know we know that permaculture rather than monoculture silviculture, uh, you know, using land differently, tilling differently, etc. We can revitalize the soils, which are degrading, and we only have 60 years less, less left of crops on them, um, and uh, restoring the, uh, the bacteria and viruses and microorganisms in the soil to make it healthy, to do the decomposition um, efficiently, basically returning things back to nature you know we've taken we've taken working systems in nature and we've basically stuck a knife in them and uh, you know this is by design with pesticides what pesticides are designed to kill bugs to kill insects you know we've become so successful at doing this that we've taken out 75 percent of them and uh, you know now we say hey well wait we need bugs because they're pollinators you know, we can't grow any food without pollinators and like, like, come on. I mean, we're, 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 do we deserve to stay on this planet with all of these stupid, idiotic things that we're doing? Um, you know, uh, I, 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 I have hope that we're, you know, as long as there's people on this planet, we got to start doing things and start thinking about things that we do. And, you know, political systems are completely broken. Financial systems are broken. Yay, Dow, 23,000, 24,000, 25,000. Let's get Dow 30,000, and then everybody croaks because we no longer can grow any food. I mean, is this what we're going to do? Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye for now.